we have Alice. Number 12, that reduces to a 3. She's come out a couple times in the last couple weeks. Okay. It says, new worlds are calling you forth where the old rules don't apply. It might seem strange or freeing or wild or even scary at first, but you are meant to explore these new worlds. You will gain so much from the experience. There's no need to be afraid. So this is, this is, uh, this is kind of like, um, so it's Alice, you know, reference to Alice in Wonderland. It's kind of like the white rabbit showing up, trying to show you the way to Wonderland. It's, it's basically like a, for an unconscious person, this is like a, their first guide showing up to introduce them to the 5D world and how deep connections between people can go, like soulmates and twin flames, sacred unions, and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like, um, if you've seen the Matrix um, movies where Trinity shows up to tell, to wake up Neo, essentially, to bring him to Morpheus and wake up Neo. It's, it's like the universe finally being like, all right, it's time to pull the blindfold off and show him what's behind the curtain. And it's safe to see this now. I wonder why it was not before. Mm. Luck is on your side. New moon and Sag. Alrighty. Let's see where we go with this one. What is going on, Gemini? Hmm. New world where the old rules don't apply. New habits, new ways of thinking, the old ones will only keep you stuck. Let's see where we go with this. Alright. Hmm. Nine of Cups. This is about a wish. Wish granted. Magician. Two of Cups. Hey! <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords on the bottom. Ace of Cups. Ace of... Wow, okay. Some Libra energy on the bottom here. This could have been a, a romance that started at work. Some Scorpio energy there. So, okay. I'm going to read. This side is you, Gemini. This side is your person. And the Nine of Cups as a situation. The theme floats over the situation. This looks like there was some back and forth here of <sighs> you could have abandoned the connection first. Like you tried to abandon it emotionally, the cups. They ab And when they picked up on this, they abandoned it literally. Five of Pentacles walking away. <sighs> You're trying to manifest a new beginning. They want the truth about what happened. They are on the path to love. Okay. They're on the path to love. Let's see if that has something to do with you. The two of the four aces here. It's off to a good start. Showing up as the magician. Not half bad. He knows how to make things happen. Let's expand on this night of cups, please. Devil, Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Page of Wands. Okay. Yep, Ace of Cups still on the bottom. Okay. So, <sighs> this is getting interesting. So, if you were the one to emotionally abandon this connection or be the first to walk away, essentially, I'm getting that someone else is the reason why. Because here in this Nine of Cups, this wish fulfillment situation, basically the wish fulfillment is on the low vibe kind of end. 
the devil queen of swords here you have the person that you the toxic situation that you got rid of you traded traded out to be single and there's a lot of instability in this move though and you want to rush in and tell this person hey i'm single now let's let's do this thing Temperance. Seven of Pentacles. Seven and seven. And seven of Wands on the bottom. So there was justice against another water sign. Possibly a Scorpio. Okay, I'm I'm getting that you left a toxic thing to finally become single so you could pursue this person. There's, besides the Sag energy, there's this reflection on the past that is balancing your perspective of the past because you were looking at it one way, which made it easy to emotionally exit before. But now that that is being rebalanced, you're, you're seeing that it wasn't, it was not the right thing to leave this person behind. Let's expand on the magician, please. King of Cups, Strength, yep. Literally trying to muster the strength to offer the cup, okay. Didn't have the courage before, Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands, Two of Wands. Okay, coming in to not just offer... A tangible brand new beginning but actual partnership making the choice for partnership and the eight of cups okay death king of cups death scorpio energy so they've they've held back on this apology and it has messed with them. Stubbornness included. Okay. It has messed with them. They have lost sleep over this. Just in case you were wondering. Okay. Hmm. They may have to travel to come see you. Because when you, Five of Pentacles, that, that's also moving. You could have moved or relocated. They, they may have to travel to come see you. Okay. This person is ready for love. Yep. Queen of Swords. Clear on it, too. <laughs> Ooh, Will of Fortune, Hierophant. Change. No more illusions. Only love allowed. That's the only thing allowed to work on. She's going to have a lot of questions for you. And if you had a problem with, like, say, marriage before <laughs> for, for a long-term commitment, if you want to be with her, you don't get to have this problem. This is what she wants. She wants this long-term. Kind of interesting, though, because you see her Queen of Swords as the King of Pentacles. That's, that's oftentimes the husband card. Okay. Five of Pentacles. There it is. Death. It was over. She put it down. Made the choice. You didn't take it well. <laughs> you did not take it well. She knew you wouldn't. She knew you wouldn't. So she took she took a new job somewhere else. This ripped her heart out, but she did it. She had the confidence to stand up and rebalance her own life. 
elsewhere. Okay. Ace of Swords. There's the judgment again. Queen of Cups. Sun. Ace of Pentacles. There it is. Three of Swords on the bottom. So she's going to have some inner turmoil at this uh, offer. She's going to need truth about what happened before. <sighs> have the Death card twice. The Queen of Swords twice. King of Cups. Queen of Cups. So the way to win this is to come back in and tell her how happy she actually made you. Because the illusions of what happened before don't get aren't going to stick anymore. There's there's truth that needs to come to light here. So and it looks like it looks like the way of proceeding with this is gonna be different than how you're used to doing relationship. Alice, Alice in Waterland, go down the rabbit hole. Being revealed truths of the universe and of your soul, of what it is you truly desire, what you really wish. What else has to change with this Wheel of Fortune? The view of the past. It needs to be over. And the complacency, the stuck, needs to be over. All right. 